Penelope is crying because she thinks her husband, Odysseus, shall never return from war. Whoever shall string the bow shall marry me next as a prize. I believe that Odysseus, my husband, will not be returning. I will leave all my possessions behind in order to join the man as my next husband. This is the moment where the suitors are lining up so they could marry Penelope. I believe I do possess the power to string the bow. As suitor number one comes up, he has a beer belly and he tries to charm Penelope since he has no confidence that he actually can string the bow. I believe I'm much more significant than these that you are beneath me, so I refuse to participate with them. Who is this? I. I must prove to my little servants that I'm Odysseus. During this time, Odysseus returns and tries to prove to his herdmen that he is who he said he is. Odysseus goes to the hall where the contest is located and attempts to string the bow. Anthemius doubts him, but Phanomiki and Tomeculus insist he did. Let me tell you. The bow lover. Dealer in old bows. Perhaps he has one at home. It's a bit dusty. Or has an inch to make one for himself. See how he has handled it. The sly old buzzard. May his fortune grow an inch for every inch he bends it. Odysseus strings the bow, and it successfully rings through the hall. I am Zeus. <laughs> Telemachus, the stranger you welcomed in your hall has not disgraced you. I did not miss, neither did I take all day stringing the bow. My hand and I are sound, not so contemptible as the young men say. The hour has come to cook their lordship's mutton, supper by daylight. Other amusements later, with a song and harping that adorn a feast. Whoever shall string the bow will be able to marry me next, as a prize. <laughs> Redo, redo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What Wait, do I do? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I'm for this. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs>